Good evening and welcome to another edition of Focus. With me this evening is Basil Bonkato, the man who brought you Bong Sukana Rock last year. He's going to tell us what he has for us in store for this year's carnival. Bong, good evening. Good evening, doggy as usual, and it's always a pleasure, you know, when me and you get together to talk, eh? Hey. <laughs> so, let me yes, this year, this year is going to be grand for me. Apart from the fact that, uh, well, you, we know that uh, apart from Carnival now, we have the elections coming, coming up, which we don't like too much, but we have to go along with it since the authorities decided that elections must also come along with Carnival. But we are not making that slow us down. I personally am not making it slow me down. And so I have launched my songs already, Dougie. I have uh, four songs on the radio already, and they are all having nice uh, reviews. I feel good about them. Uh, I have one is called Soka Me, and that is, I am told, I, I, I don't really even listen to the radio these days, but I'm told it plays about five, six times on each radio station a day. I have another one here called uh, uh, The Queen of Hearts, is a, is a tribute to the Princess Diana, who died tragically last year in a, in, a, in a motor vehicle accident. And another one I have is called No Uncle Sam, and this is me talking directly to Mr. Clinton and his, the men in his Senate and his Congress about leaving the Caribbean and small islands and small countries and giving us a chance to survive. And the other song is one that I made specifically for the New York, Brooklyn area, and that is called Labor Day in Brooklyn. And they're all playing here, and I'm getting nothing but great reviews and great praises from people, and I give thanks to God for that. Okay, you had a concert, Bonkate Sukarno in concert, um, sometime at the Russell Cinema. The crowd response was not that um, we were looking for. How do you see um, Calypso, quote-unquote, on Carnival right now in terms of it moving forward? Uh, the po uh, okay, and like you said, that show that I had, while it was a quality show, did not have the type of crowd that we wanted. I saw you there, and I felt good about that. Uh, the thing is, I am still saying, Doggy, that uh, the, the education of our young people in this country, depend on to, uh, apart from schools, depend to a large, an ext large extent on the media. And in this particular uh, area, I'm talking about the electronic media, meaning the radio stations and the TV stations. And on, when they begin to play calypsos and, and soca music, which is our indigenous music, when they begin to play them, then our youth will begin to get, become educated insofar as that type of music is concerned. Over the last five, six, seven, eight years, the, uh, the concentration of music to the young people of this country has been Jamaican music. Um, well, it's Caribbean music too, but it has been Jamaican rather than smaller Eastern Caribbean music, which is Calypso and Soka and so forth and so on. I still do think that uh, in time to come, the Calypso art form is going to rise right back up again like it used to be in the past, simply because we can't continue giving the type of music, music that we give to young people a non-educative type of music in terms of the dub and the diversion type of music as we know it. We need to get, get back into the lyrical type of content with, with, which could give people instruction and education. And um, be, because of the educative aspect of Calypso, I think it augurs well for the future still. Getting back to the album, um, you said you make a song about um, East 95th. Yeah. I think that has something to do with um, your stay in New York also. Just give us a little bit of rundown on that. Well, yeah, yeah. you know, last year, Doggy, on my CD, I had, a, I had a, a, a song for New York called Gypsy Cab. Gypsy Cab. And I know people in St. Vincent really don't, they, uh, if they had not traveled to, to New York, because only in New York itself you have what we call a Gypsy Cab. I lived in New York between 1988 and 1991 and I drove a, a cab for my living. I made a living out of driving a cab and it was not the yellow cab as we know, we know America is popular for. It was a cab that was called the Gypsy Cab. It's a cab that where you use your own car and, and make a living. Yeah. And I made a very decent living driving my car. But uh, it, it, uh, it, it, it was something also that you always, we were always in hassle with the police because while they know that they have not made preparations in New York for the official uh, uh, transport to take care of all the illegal aliens in, 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 in that, that America is made above, uh, they still need to get what they consider their tax money out of us. So it was always an exciting thing when I made that song, Gypsy Cab. 
And so following up on that song, Gypsy Cab, I decided I, I have been in New York. I'm not, not only for the last four or five years, but I went to New York about 30 years ago for the first time. And I know what New York is like. I know what life up there is like. And so I decided that this year, you know, I'd come up with a song about Labor Day because I have had experience about Labor Day in, in, uh, in, in Brooklyn particularly. And sometimes people here, we get news and we get reports about uh, the violence of New York. And sometimes we concentrate on that aspect of New York more than the other social and cultural aspect of New York. New York, apart from violence, has other uh, nice, nice, nice advantages. But Vincent has been contributing. Of course, of course, of course. And so, this is why I decided to come up with that, with, uh, with that song, Labor Day in Brooklyn. Because Labor Day in Brooklyn is not really an American, as such per se, an American thing. It is a Caribbean thing in yeah. Brooklyn. And uh, the Vincentian community play their role in ensuring that Labor Day is a very successful occasion. And so, this is my contribution to to the Vincentian part of that contribution in, uh, for Labor Day. It's, going, it's taken off, it's right here in St. Vincent. The song is uh, 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 getting nice reviews, like I said. Uh, people love it. It's not made for here and people love it here. Never mind when we reach New York with it, Dougie. Last year, um, Bong Sukarno Rock, I mean, really rock down the place, all in Canada. Or people talking about it up in Canada and so on. Um, you think that your hit song this year, which is um, the Sook song? Or Sokami. Sokami. Yeah. It's going to do likewise? Yeah. Very definitely. Uh, uh, from the re reviews that I'm getting here, as a matter of fact, I wanted to know what's happening. I released that song just last week, in the middle of last week. And there were songs in the radio for weeks before and the next thing it came in at number 8 out of 20 mm. and I, I am predicting here now that in the next by the end of this week that song is in the top 3 so come in will definitely be in the top 3 look at it in, 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 uh, on the 20 chart right and so I think the song is a nice song the song is not just the normal calypso type vintage calypso it's a song that has a mix of uh, as we call it merengue yeah. samba rumba it's a Spanish oriented song with a Caribbean flavor and it's just it's just nice. People just like it. So can me. So key. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bong. Well, we have to take a little time out here right now. And um, here's wishing you uh, all the best for the carnival season in terms of um, your album and your performance at the Victoria Park. Try to see if you can get into the big yard. Try to get a, a dock at the, uh, the King competition. <laughs> and hoping that everybody will take time out to listen to some of Bong's calypso for this year. Yeah. Purchase some of um, his records, his CDs. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, actually, I have just sent off just today. I've just sent my dad up to uh, the Magic Man in America to get my CDs done. Okay. And you know, in 1996, I should have made the, uh, the semi-finals doing uh, "You Went Wrong." <laughs> it, the people said I went wrong with that song, so they didn't make me make the semi-finals. Maybe, and yeah, la maybe the address. Right, perhaps. <laughs> and last year, the same song, uh, "Soka Soka and a Rock," yeah. is the number one song in St. Vincent up to today. And I didn't make the semi-finals with that, so I'm not so certain I'm going to make the semi-finals this year, doggy. We all, it all depends, eh? Okay, well, <laughs> let's just hope that our uh, you get lucky this time around. Yes, perhaps it was necessary, some luck on my part. Okay. Anyhow, thank you for having me with you as usual, Doug. And I hope in your aspect of Carnival, I know you're the, the president of the PAN movement, I hope that also everything goes well for the PAN movement also to make Carnival what it should be and what we have accustomed, gotten, gotten accustomed to Carnival being in St. Vincent. Yeah, you can look forward to PAN this Carnival. Okay. Elections not, uh, elections uh, notwithstanding. Yeah. Eh? Elections notwithstanding. <laughs> I'm Doug, you know, Joseph. Good evening. So come in, so come in, so so come and the beat you rumba to me. So come in, so come in, so keep the rhythm and tempo driving me crazy. So come in, so come in, so keep when I go Calaca, you go in with me. So come in, so come in, so keep all right, so we are staying sweet as we see. 